APSO authorities remain silent as the row over the missing billions boils over. The ANC Youth League is demanding that government withdraws its accounts from the APSO group. Now, as the pressure builds up, can APSO be forced to return back the money? Stop banking with APSA. The ANC Youth League is asking one and all to boycott APSA Bank. The call comes as a fallout of the leaked public protector's report implicating the banking conglomerate. We'll be doing pickets and ultimately leading to a, a national match. Financial institution can plunge a country like the USA as a result of having an international impact across all countries in the world. We must ensure that we in South Africa conduct a judicial commission in terms of financial institutions and their involvement in terms of the rent, in terms of the decision they make that affects our daily life. Now, Black First Land First has also joined the bandwagon. On the 28th of January, BLF is calling for a national uh, protest in the outlets of uh, APSA to make sure that APSA pays back the money. That's the one thing. The other thing, indeed, is the government must indeed stop all the uh, uh, accounts that it has with APSA and give it to in fact, the post bank or set up a black bank. The ANC Youth League in Eteguini is urging the youth not to bank with APSA and the current clients to close their accounts. But are there any viable options available? The issue is, I think, for the South African government at this point, if you boycott APSA business, where will they take the large margin of, of government business? Are other banks outside of the big four ready to... To, to, to accept this business? Do they even have that infrastructure? I think at this stage it will be an infrastructural problem. I wish we had an alternative, if there was an alternative. If there was a, perhaps maybe a, a state-owned bank that they could move it to, but perhaps move, even uh, a black bank maybe, uh, uh, one which is empowered. We don't have that. Um, you have to remember the state is not just the African National Congress. The mm. state or the government is, in actual fact, a whole host of other parties that are participating in it. So it will be a very difficult one yeah. to, to actually crack out. The apartheid-era skeletons have brought the focus back on private banks' control on the South African economy. One hopes it can catalyze a change towards financial liberation. Bureau Report, ANN7.